Welcome to AI Late to Class. Tonight I have another one of the latest AI video technology tools to try. WAN 2.2 First Frame Go or FF Go. This is similar to Phantom Base Skyrules A2 and Bimeweave where you have multiple image reference frames and combine them into one video scene. Good thing about this is it's just two LoRa files to download and if you watch all my other videos you should be ready to go. What makes this different than the others is its identity accuracy. I'll be going through the samples and the workflows, so don't leave yet. On the first frame go GitHub page, this video here showcases multiple images inputted into one video scene. It looks like it was just a standard image to video one 2.2 video, but they actually came from different images. Going down further, let's look at the comparisons. We've got a text prompt here. I'm just going to cut through it a bit. Teddy bear sipping apple juice from a bottle using its hand. Well, it holds a red rose in its hand. So let's look at this normal one 2.2 image to video. And it's not doing too good there. We've got this base one. And it doesn't sort of make sense. We don't have it holding the roses. And we've got Sky Rules A2 doing a lot better here. But look at this one here. This is amazing. It's definitely sipping the juice. It's definitely holding the rose in its hand. So let's just have a look down because this page has got multiple samples and they're all doing different things. If we come down here and we can see all of these things here like the VR, the phone, this monster, this guy here. And these have got all of this going on and the prompt here at the top, it's got some red smoke. I don't want to go too much into that but you can see how the others are doing it. Don't want to read too much of these prompts out. You can see what's going on. Rocket person, Elon Musk, and Vase sort of does all sorts of random things. A2's going a bit off tangent as well and a messed up face, but this one here, first frame go, is doing really well. Here's the multiple characters we saw at the start, background frame, and it looks like it was all part of one cartoon. This is real helpful when you're making cartoons. Just going to roll through these samples. You can see the differences going on. It's great how it can get this ambulance and it's in front of the car. And I'll put this link in the comments so you can go back and look at these and read the prompts. Copy the prompts, try them in Comp for UI. Definitely the best multi-frame video generator I've seen yet. It only does five seconds though. Animation is definitely one thing this excels at. And look at this plane. Look at this zooming in shot. As you can see, most of them use a white background for their image reference. And you can just do one image in a background image and what a great result that is. Great for product advertising. And this is where the accuracy stands out. Look at the Apple symbol. Look at that over there. So here's what we need. How high and low noise LoRa. Not very big. 1.25 gigabyte each. Download them. Put them in your LoRa's folder inside your CompUI models folder. Drag the workflow in. And this is my first go at it. So I've put this photo of this woman here. And underneath I've got my photo of my futuristic tank. And then I've got my background of my city street. And when we come over, let's just have a look at the output of that. So it's done really good, apart from the fact that it looks like your head's twisting right around and going to come off. But it's got all the other bits, like the dust and then that. Um, I'll just go and show you the prompt, what I did to get that. But I like the result, apart from the twisted head. Notice in this prompt here, the AD23R2, that's my trigger word. If you're using this LoRa, you've got to have that in there. Then I've got the video begins with a wide shot of the street where a woman is standing in front of a futuristic tank. The tank is moving back and forth but cannot get around her. The woman looks at the camera and smiles and then turns her head towards the tank. So I guess it did follow it. It probably didn't understand. I didn't want the head twisting too much, but it did really good at that. So the workflow looks big, but it's just a standard one 2.2 workflow. So if we look in what's going on here, we've got our block swap there. If you're running low on VRAM, 40 is as much as you can really go on that. And I've got mine is the Q4 GGUF one 2.2 I2Vs. 
So I've got my high noise and low noise there. And underneath that of using the 128 rank light X2V LoRa's. I'm just using the same ones here. I'm not using a low and high noise on those ones. And here we've got our FF Go LoRa high and FF Go low. There's our text encoder UMT5. So if you don't know what that is, the link's going to be in the comments. Over here, we've got our one 2.1 VAE. Here's some other images I tried. I had this wizard guy here. And I've got a motorbike and a space scene. I'm not going to read all this prompt, but you get it. The camera view suddenly changes. The video begins with a wide shot of space. Lasers move through the air as a wizard rides a motorcycle. Yeah, so this time it didn't really do the wizard as I wanted. It's got the other things happening. The motorbike looks right. Space is right, but it's not the same wizard guy. So for these multiple image reference to video generations, in 1.2.1 we've got Phantom, Sky Reels, A2, and Vase. But for 1.2.2 we've only got Fun Vase, which isn't the official Vase 2.2. And now we've got this. The bind weave is also for one 2.1, which has just come out, and I'm going to do a video on that soon. And that does a lot of other things, but actually for one 2.2, this is the best we've got for multiple reference image. So if you want combinations of what you can use this for, go back to my old videos. Look at Phantom over here. Look at this Fusion X base LoRa's, and have a look at this Fun Vase tutorial as well. I've found this Laura an actual usable product, unlike the other ones, which were more of a gimmick. Anyway, like, subscribe, we'll see you in the next video, and hope you get some use out of this.